Hey guys, um, a little while ago I made a video talking about creatine monohydrate and um, I told you that I would have to do some more research on it to see if there was any other options as far as uh, being able to take creatine all the way up until my show. Um, I told you that creatine monohydrate typically can cause people to hold water um, and this is true it's not apparently according to the studies it's not um, absorbed completely which is why you have to take a little bit higher dosage of five grams um, maybe even slightly more but I uh, in my research found um, this kind right here this type of creatine it's creatine hydrochloride and um, apparently it doesn't cause you to hold water you can use it right on up until the show um, you can use it before and after a workout which I mentioned to y'all that creatine monohydrate typically will dehydrate you so you want to try to take that post workout well this apparently you can take before the workout and after the workout because it does not dehydrate you there's not been a lot of studies on it though so uh, like I mentioned in my in my last video about the creatine monohydrate having lots of studies on it it's been proven to work it may not be quite as efficient though as what I have here in my hand but the problem is is that there's not enough studies on creatine hydrochloride to prove that the studies that have been done on it though um, have been good and um, so that's what I'm going on and I'm gonna be the guinea pig I'm gonna try this out and see if it causes any bloating and uh, you, ha you can actually take this in a smaller dose um, let's see you can take it before and after a workout because the dosage is so tiny it's better absorbed um, by the body uh, so let's see one scoop is 750 milligrams um, so you can, uh, yeah, you can take one serving or one to two servings per 100 pounds of body weight. So I'm going to try this. This is a caged muscle um, creatine hydrochloride, and I will let you all know how it goes. And if I like the product, uh, hopefully this will give me an advantage because normally I take creatine out of my, uh, you know, my prep, my show prep about two to three weeks out so right about this time right now about two weeks and five days away from my show so I would normally be taking it out but I've just switched over to the hydrochloride and we'll see if it works alright so keep in touch